All right, we're recording, fellas. Can you ra- hold on, hold on? Can you raise us? Through this I've already one? done it. You're both on two hundred percent. You're both at two hundred. Two hundred. Yes. yes. Uh, All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the talk stock. No, no, the the, the stock, stock talkers. talkers. The stock talkers. Episode one, and we've already fucked up. That's it. That's that's the podcast, people. Bye. All right. What if that was episode from, one? Let's redo that. It's let's one second that. long. No, no, no. We'll keep it. It's a podcast. No. There's going to be mess ups. <laughs> That's like the opening. Yeah. Exactly. Going, it's the opening. Yeah. This is already going great. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the first topic, fellas? Well, we got it. We got to talk about what this is about first. Everyone yeah, knows what it's about. It's a podcast, Lionel. Episode one. Everyone's seen a podcast before. Have they really? Yes. What if some starving child in Africa is like, what if this is their first video they've ever seen? They've made a horrible mistake. (laughs) We're already ready. Okay, wait, first of all, a starving child in Africa found a computer and their first idea was to go look for a YouTube video. (laughs) Instead of to eat it? (laughs) It's it's, 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 (laughs) signing up for school, something, something else. And they deserve to watch this video. Then they, they heard about YouTube and they're just like, well, <laughs> might as well. And somehow this gets recommended to them, even though none of us have probably ever shown up on a recommended page. Ever. Yeah, probably not. Are we, are we going to start? Or... I'm waiting for you guys to do something. Well, gonna... hello everyone. Yes, Welcome to it. the Stock Talkers. This is a podcast where we talk about random shit. Um... We have topics to discuss today. Um, Probably Cloudhead. related to Mario. Maybe, most likely. Cloudhead, why don't you just why don't you bring up the first topic we have today? Well, our I'm first to... news story today. You are not Cloudhead, young man. <laughs> right, I better just kill not. Lionel real quick. <laughs> uh, just go through some of Kiwis first, I guess. So, good. Uh, actually, the port thing was probably pretty good. What kind of games, at least from Wii U, most likely, or GameCube? Do you think? It's probably going to be ported over to the Switch. Well, it hasn't already. What do I want to be ported to the Switch? I guess both. Let's... What do you want, and like, what do you think will be? Well, I yeah. think uh, Mario Maker has a very uh, has a very slim chance because of its lack of touchscreen controls and non handheld mode. I mean, well, uh, mm. I mean obviously, it's not a level creator, yeah. but the Sushi Striker game thing. Yeah. The demo for it. Like, if you have it in handheld, you can use the touch screen. It's a lot easier, but oh. technically, you could just. I mean, they are just squares, so you could just use the analog stick, but although it might be a little harder. I don't huh. know. It's not really harder, it's just more cumbersome. You think it'd be like an, a second one, or just a full on port? Shit. I would like. This is like a me just. If we got a sequel to it, I'd love a 3D one. It would never happen. Because 3D Mario is way more complicated. But, well, I mean, the one already exists online. So. Yeah. But it's not official. Like, official Mario Maker has no reason to be as good as it is. Like, official Mario Maker is better than probably any ROM hack I've ever seen. It's just because... Uh, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it's really, like... I have fantastic. seen some pretty ambitious ROM hacks. Game. Yeah, but in terms of creation... It's like yeah, yeah. the G- the UI is fantastic on Are we Mario talking Maker. About creation or creativity? Because the creativity in Mario Maker is pretty. Eh. No, are you kidding me, bro? Have you seen the shit in Mario Maker? No, it's fucking but I don't ridiculous. Have yeah. No, it's amazing what people could do, but the game itself doesn't give you that many. Yeah. Are you kidding it gives me? Tools. It gives you plenty it gives you tools, of tools, but it doesn't give you like. I mean. Super expensive. You can't. You can't freaking. You can't freaking. Uh, short hop in 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 the Super Mario World part of Mario Maker. You can't freaking short like a uh, spin jump. Off yes, of, you can. Off of off of uh the the spin wave. You can't spin jump off of those anymore. Like that was a. You can big spin part. jump off of spinies. Yeah. And if you spin jump off of si- spinies and you put them on a track and the track's moving down, then basically you can spin jump off of the blades. Yeah. Easy bla- fix by being creative, Lionel, you sack of shit. No, but the blades... <laughs> exactly. Okay, but is it really the gamer's responsibility to, to wreck a workaround that... Yeah, wreck. is it the game? Is it? They did it with slopes, I guess. I mean, 
Yeah, oh, did, yeah. Speaking like, of which, how long did it take them to even like have like a really, really non They still have it. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of different. They have. They don't have slopes. Yeah, well, slopes are probably difficult to implement properly. They're really not. Yeah, they are. They're, they're really oh, yeah. not. Like, it's a new Look, game. It's just... Kiwi, all you have to do is just, like, make it's it It's as easy as selecting so one block. And then so just selecting line, how just, like, you how long you want the slope like, to be, and then, and then placing the placing the end right, there. I have two people telling me the exact same thing. <laughs> you know, uh, when I told it faster, that means I'm better. <laughs> I didn't hear you though. Repeat, 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 repeat it, repeat it. No. I'll be quiet. Okay, so all you have to do is just implement a, like, just draw a line, like it's like it's smash. All you have to do is select point A, point B, decide your angle, and there you go. And it just develops a shape. Yeah, mm. pretty much, yeah. It's really not that hard. In fact, I don't know why they didn't go about it like that, like Smash. All you have to do is just... Because do there's no slopes in original Mario Brothers, that's why. Well, um, they're do But they different? have different mechanics for there's each game type. things that are in the original Super Mario Bros. There was the Wigglers. There's yeah, there's but that's not a fucking... Hold that's phone. not a type of. There's slope in Super. There's slopes in Super Mario Brothers three. Yeah, but not in the original one. I'm not there's talking about Mario three. There's different mechanics there for each game type. There were Mario one. There's different mechanics and. There were enemies. springs in Mario one. What are you talking about? There were springs in Mario one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, get your dumb ass out of this podcast. I'm the winner here. It's as easy as just saying there's. This is easy, just not hard. adding it's slopes to Mario One and Two. Floor. Well, there was, there isn't a two. It's as easy as just not. Adding well, there is Mario a two, one. and it doesn't have slopes either. So there is a two, Ooh. but it's not in Mario Maker. Well, there's that's what I meant. Lost levels, which is basically just one, but added if there's shit. One, it's one. If there's one gripe that I have with Mario Maker is that you can't make like a like a tower level. Like you can't make. Oh like yeah, a level that's true. That just goes up and up and up and up and up. Yeah. And you can't do it. That's another Well, thing, yeah. what I do to compensate for that is I put I take a bunch of pipes and I have the pipes as soon as someone goes in the pipe it cuts to another tower section and then the, you just yeah, keep climbing up. Yeah, that might get tedious after a while though. Ah, uh, whatever. What do they know? <laughs> I've seen people play levels like that it gets tedious after a while. It does. Is this just everyone against me here? <laughs> Pretty much. A little bit, yeah. You were accepted the fucking workarounds and bullshit of Mario Maker. Because I love Mario Maker, okay? It was the second fun. reason Mario I brought the Wii U. Game. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that there's a lot of things that could be simplified. It doesn't have to be as complicated as it is in the game. When you become a game dev, a Ivory, always. And there's, also, and there's also a lot of things they could have implemented that really aren't that hard to implement that they just chose not to. Like slopes. Slopes are not that hard. I'm gonna tell you right now, they probably didn't implement that because of Wii U sales. Like yeah, if the Wii U good. sold good, they probably would have implemented that. Well, you know what's selling game. good? The Switch. So if y'all really think you some shit, there's gonna be a Mario Maker port. There has to be. Yeah, I think they're just holding their pennies because they are, you know, what so many pennies. It's like <laughs> they there? have the game okay, right there. Okay. They're holding so that when it's it's year four or some shit and Switch hype is dying, Switch hype can get brought back. Why do you think they waited till year two for Smash? Fair enough. Also, like they don't, they probably are not good. Like they're not gonna like say something about Mario Maker at this point because like Smash, of course. Yeah. yeah. They don't want Smash to take over. Like the they don't want to take hype away from other games. That's why oh, the it's only coming thing out this mentioned. year, though. That's the thing. So it won't take them long to start talking about other games, mm -hmm. unless they that's have like DLC they... on the line or some shit. Even then, no, that wouldn't stop them from talking about other games at that point. That's why they haven't mentioned any other game besides Mario Aces, but that's basically a fighting game in itself. So. Ooh, that game looks fun. Yeah, one game I hope they port. This is a Wii port, I believe. Uh, is World of Goo? Is it already they on Switch? It's already on Switch. Oh, it shit. Is? I need to buy it. Ooh. It's been on Switch for a while. All right. I need to buy it. Then. I beat that game on the Wii. It just been fun. overshadowed. I thought I heard talk of it. I just didn't know it was already on there. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Who else Who else has ideas for ports? Uh, I hope they port that Smurf dancing game to the <laughs> Switch. <laughs> we're we're moving on. Okay. No. You have to understand, fellas, Who Let the Smurfs Out is one of the greatest songs ever written in modern generation. Ivory, your turn. What do you want ported? 
See, here's the thing: is that he wants he wants the Smurfs dancing game. No one likes no. the Smurfs dancing. Yes, game. Yes, everyone wants the Smurfs dancing game. He Nobody wants, the wants Smurfs that. Two dancing game. That's what he wants. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, oh Clouded. You're right. It's not a port. It's a sequel. That'd be even better. Jesus Christ. Ivory, what do you want, Forty? <laughs> Who let the Smurfs out? This, this look, jerk. Let me, look, just like, here's the thing. Is that the Wii U only had one game for me, and that was Smash. So there's not really anything I want from the Wii U. Uh, in terms of, like, games that were on other systems, uh, maybe some Wii games. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'd love if the DJ Hero series could come back. It's never gonna fucking happen because the of what? Yeah, music DJ games Hero, like, I remember oh. that. It was okay. Because music games like that that involve like a third party, uh, like adapter of sorts for a controller, music games are like got uh, they're like dead. No one mm. plays them anymore because it's too much to manufacture the controller itself. It's just like too much work and not enough people. You're talking about like the drums and guitar the guitar hero stuff. 4. Yeah, but, Remember Guitar dude, Hero 4 and how bad dude, that's like, all? Yeah. The people who made Guitar Hero had like a landfill of just like unused guitars that no one wanted. They're mm -hmm. like, people, please buy them, please. <laughs> I do find it kind of funny though how like Guitar Hero Live and I think it was like Rock Band 4 or something like that came out know. during the same time after being dormant for so long. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like, oh, oh my god, Dude, still what? having competition, I guess. Dude, Guitar Hero It'll... Live was like a horrible, horrible mistake of an idea. I... I know what they're going for. They're trying to make it like new, and they're trying to reinvent the genre. But like, they just made it overly complicated. The co the guitar is too big. The, there's too many buttons to really like manage. Too it's many just... buttons on this damn thing. And I know why they did it. It's to simulate, like, actual, like, finger movement on a guitar. And that's fine. That's mm. admirable. It's just, like, it's too much. The common consumer wouldn't be able to handle it. It's also too much fucking money. Oh, it yeah. was, like, $120 just for the game and the guitar. Oh, my lord. Yeah, well, oh, you know what uh, they say. Gaming is an expensive addiction. No, it's yeah, not. The thing I not really. Why? Uh, do you know how many word? fucking games you have? It's cra It's criminal. I have quite a bit yeah. of games. Yeah. You bought Pokin DX. Pokin Deluxe. Uh, DX is short for Deluxe. Man, that was a waste of money. Exactly. I mean, yeah. what a great use of money. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> I can't agree with Ivory here. How dare you? <laughs> That game's fun. I played it with one of my friends, and I lost a lot, and I had a blast. You just don't know how to play it, Ivory. That's all it is. Apparently, yep. you also don't know how to play it, Lionel. I, I fought and won against a few people. This man was good, okay? I was a crow gunk. He was a Lucario. You were a... Oh. Right. Forgot. Yeah. Well, uh, can we go back... Wait, can we go back to ports? Yeah, right. let's go back uh, to ports. Well, that's how it is in a podcast. <laughs> Ivory, anything else? No. Uh, besides DJ Hero, not really. Uh, what else did I play? He said what he had about, no. What about, what about GameCube games? Well, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> come, come on. Probably like thousand okay, years old. The thing about GameCube is, is that they're not gonna happen because they just don't have the controllers. For okay. It. I, okay. They have GameCube controller support. <laughs> I know. I know they have like the adapter, but like Nintendo's not gonna support that unless it's Smash. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, like let, let's let's just get realistic choices out. Let's just get that out of the window, and let's just focus on like our dream ports. Like, what do yeah. we actually wow. want to come on the Switch? I want Incredibles for the GBA Stop. to get a you Switch port. You already talked. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and no, but it's a dream I mean, port of mine. Two is coming out. You never <laughs> stop. <laughs> Awesome. Incredibles 2 for the GBA I've ported to the no. Switch Stop Stop encouraging him <laughs> Thank you Clodhead for encouraging me Alright Ivory Go on what uh, do you want Let's see a dream port huh? uh, Super Mario 64 HD Remix let's go yeah. that... So Super Mario Odyssey Perfect Pretty, pretty much <laughs> You talking about like the DS ones? We'll, dis we'll discuss this later. Okay, if they can, okay, you know what? No. If they can make an HD remake of Super Mario 64 DS and like implement actual analog control, yeah, I'd be down for that. 
That's mm. called a ROM hack, my man. No, it's not, because it doesn't have analog control. Um, also, they, they do on an emulator. The same, so. They do on emulators. Yeah, but you still have to hold B the run. No. Mm. Yeah, you do. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Eh. Eh. Here's what you. Here's what Ivory's fucking dream shit would be, right? Just a pixel perfect recreation of Super Mario sixty four with Odyssey controls, without the capture mechanic. I bet. Well, I don't know the capture. Okay, the thing about like, okay, we'll talk about this yes. later. Yeah, we'll when talk we, about when it. These, we'll talk about this later when we discuss the best three D Mario game. All right. Let's get back on topic. Well, we're about okay, to switch I, topics because I'm sick of talking about this. I literally, I didn't. There's still Cloudhead. He didn't say anything yet, and there's still it's me. Still I didn't good. say anything yet. So we gotta finish. We can't. We can't just move on. After After Incredibles for the GBA port, what is there else to say? Uh, and what else is there to say, Cloudhead? Your thoughts? Um, I do think exactly. You I don't know nothing. how they would do it, but I do think they'll eventually do a Skyward Sword remaster. Yeah. No, no, I'm not sure how they would actually do the controls. No, I don't think they will. Honestly, I think the is it only be... because of controls though. No, I just think Nintendo just doesn't like Skyward Sword. Well, critics seem to like this, it. This is why critics Nintendo don't like won't it. Put the Skyward it got like Sword perfect tens when it first they, came out. They, they Lionel. Lionel. Twilight yeah. Princess, even though that was the la like the last same game thing with um, Breath of the Wild, Wild, and everyone's realizing it's not as perfect as it was. Well, I still think it's a solid game. Yeah. It's a good game, but, but it's not. Breath of the Wild is okay. You cannot take a break during that game, though. <laughs> if you take a break. You're just going to be lost, and now I don't know what to do anymore. I'll just do whatever. It's the best part. You do whatever you want. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, I know, but then you make no progress, and then, like, what's the point? Well, well, progress is a relative term. Progress to one person can be progress to someone else. Like, So okay, it's progress regardless? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's progress, progress regardless. It's my terms in Breath of the Wild. You make no story progress. That, like, there you go. Yeah. I mean, that's just Breath of the Wild's problem. There's no real story there. All right, all right, all right, all right. What else, what else do you have in mind, Cloudhead? Any other ports? Um, it, it, I mean, it could be possible. I don't think it'd be like an E3 thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, thousand, uh, the Thousand Year Door port. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. Or a yeah. mix of that and That'd the be nice. one. Shit, I'd take Color Splash's graphics. And you just because there isn't a Paper Mario on the Thousand Switch, Year and Doors and I now they'll announce one. Yeah, since Color Splash came out in the Wii U at the end of its cycle, so it, yeah. it is pretty. Ooh, possible. Here's a game I want on the Switch: Paper Mario Collector's Edition. Stop, oh, stop. oh my God, stop! <laughs> stop. Let's not, please. Let's not explain. No, it's a good no, game no. idea. I swear. <laughs> We'll, we'll talk about that at some point. Stage. It's still in the we will talk about that stage. at some point, but right now. Oh yeah, dream game design. Shush, that's shush, a shush, 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 shush. Let's let's. All right, that's really all. I think those two are really all I got that hasn't been said. Okay. Right. So. Um, my turn. Yeah. Um, I played this game. And that's all we have time for. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> custom Robo. I want a custom Robo oh. port. For the Get Switch. The Do any of you know what Custom uh, Robo is? Yeah. I, I know. I played a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, it's Lionel. Really and I game. want an Excite Truck port. Oh. oh <laughs> wait, truck? Yeah. What is that? It's a Wii version of Excite Bike with trucks and shit. Is it like a WiiWare game or something? It is. No. <laughs> well, Pretty sure know, Custom Robo was also WiiWare. No. It wasn't? No, it was a game. Here's another oh. thing. The, the Wii version of like Excite Bike, where you can make your own tracks. I want that. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I never got to play that game. One more thing. I'm shocked no one else has said this. Okay, go ahead. A port of any F-Zero game. Like, oh, yeah, anyone. Anyone. It doesn't matter what it is. I'd even keep the cheap fucking shitty cutscenes from GX. Yeah. If I get a port it's, of that. Specifically it's GX. It's going to be GX, if anything. Yeah. That's the most recent one. Specifically which is GX. Other than that, though, oh, wait, is, a port of Sonic Adventure 2 would be nice, but I know that's never going to happen. Well, we got Prime 4. That's the most nice. recent two Sonic games both came out on the Switch, so it's not impossible. Oh, well, you said Sonic. I think you said Metroid. Sonic reason. Adventure 2, a port for Sonic Adventure 2. Metroid Adventure yeah, 2, that's remember? not going to happen. I know it's not, but, like, like the Chow, I'm sorry, the Chow, if I get Chow Garden on the Switch, I will uh, never shut your sleep. Up. 
<laughs> we don't okay, talk I don't about that. What, I don't know what Kiwi's problem with the Chow Garden is. I don't, I like it. It's not, you know... Because it it's not, casual, it's not so Sonic. Much. It feels like a completely different game. That's the it point. Was, it was meant for like I remember seeing. I don't know if it was like Did you know gaming? But I know it's meant for casual fans if they don't. Really yeah. Like well, Sonic shit. Just play. give us a Chow Garden game if you guys like. They so did fucking on the much. GBA actually. Well, good. The thing is, is that I think people give Sonic Adventure Two too much credit for things that aren't really Sonic related. What? Okay, what is a Sonic to you then? What like, is Sonic? Okay, Fast right, gameplay, right, quick right, reaction right, speed. Right, What's we Sonic to me? Mario, we give Mario Odyssey way too much credit for the capture ability. That's not Mario, that's Kirby. Mm. Mm -mm. What, do you, what do you mean? It's not abilities. It's not yeah, abilities. Yeah, but it's the same shit. No, I mean, no, no, no. A, this is a fundamental ability. change of gameplay. So is the no, it's ability. not! It's God, platforming! Hey, Stop. It's platforming! Stop, 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 stop. This is not how you make an argument. This is not how you argue, guys. One person it's says one thing. Ivory, I should have another. killed you when I had the chance. Jesus. <laughs> Discourse in the first episode, people. My lord. Um, <laughs> you, we've gone off track right. like five times. Right, this is the up. first time. Mm. Lionel, do you have any more? Do I have uh, any more? Um. I hope he doesn't. Kirby Air Ride. Oh, never mind. Yes. Uh, yeah. That well, flawed Kirby Mario Kart Air game. Kirby Air Ride online. Yes, like that flawed Mario Kart game. It was very DMS flawed, but it was fun. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was fun, fun for two minutes. Wow. Dude, Kirby Air Ride online with three to five city trial stages. <sighs> I'm done. I'm sold. I'll give you all my money. It doesn't even have to be a different game. Just like a port with extra shit in Dude, them. just make City Trial its own game. Yeah. No one plays the racing stages, let's Whoa. be honest. I, I play them. It's just, they should have been longer. Yo, wait, That's about it. Wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Shh, shh. I just thought of the best idea. You guys hear that? Kirby Air Ride Battle Royale. <laughs> 60 players of one giant that, map riding on the air ride machine. That actually items. sounds fucking Somebody, fun. I would no, play no, no. that. Like, one person gets the Hydra. I would actually, one person gets the fucking... I would actually play down. that. Oh Holy shit. God. And then there's, like, random events that... You fucking like, one person like, gets the like, Infinity clouded, Gauntlet. Clouded. clouded. Hydra. It's the Thanos mode. Exactly. Someone fucking <laughs> swallows Thanos and becomes Kirby Thanos. I would actually... Holy shit. That sounds fun. I would legit buy that. Oh my god. Just add the dabbing taunt and we're good. Stop. <laughs> Kirby can't dab. Yes, what? he can. No, he can't. Yes, he can. He has elbows. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, we're you done know, with that. Is that all, all the right. port topics? That's all so the this is So this is what Kirby looks like, right? So he's got, he doesn't have any elbows, right? So he can still do this to dab, right? No. Yeah, he no. can. Yeah, he, he can. He has nubs. He can't dab. Yes, he can. He can do this to dab. He just turns the nub sideways and then faces a little downwards. That's they're, how he dabs. There's circle. <laughs> okay. We're, all right. We're, we're, let's, all right. All right. Let's move on What's to a less topic? controversial topic. The best 3D Mario game. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go down the list. We'll get there. Wait, hold on. Let's go, let's go to Smash Bros. Because I think we all have something to talk about that. Oh, Wait, yeah. hold on. Just one, just one thing. Just one thing. What? Well, I don't, I'm, I'm very surprised you didn't suggest a, like, a chibi robo port. Oh. Because it's not going to happen. It's not. It's not yeah, it's happen. dead. That it. series is dead. Like, chibi robo literally is dead. series is dead if um, well, Whiplash is... didn't. That's so, not. Uh, so well. That's not. Like, that's not fair. It's not even close to the same style of gameplay as the first I one. I know. Exactly. It's it was dumb. That, that came out. <laughs> I bought that day one. I'm I'm glad it had an amiibo, though. That's something I can hold on to. Quite literally. Damn, why are we looking about a drone? And it's like, and it is kind of cool See, how it could works. Be as a chibi robo. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay. shit. It's, it's, like, accurate to the size? It should be. Robo? Yeah, it is uh, accurate. <laughs> Cool. So, anyways, let's here, let's talk about uh, Smash stuff. Smash. I, I do want to know who you guys think will be the next announcement at E3. Like the first, because they're gonna show a character before they show gameplay. Okay, I have. That is true. Though. I don't know. What if they just dead ass show gameplay and you just see all the characters there? That'd be really I mean, interesting. They'll show a trailer at first, and then they'll show the new character before they actually show actual gameplay. That's all what right, he's saying. Yeah, fellas, yeah, what if they just do it? What if they just show the game? Without a trailer. That'd then, be so fucking... 
then be, I, that'd be like the most Chad thing Nintendo could ever do. They just show the game. Just like, just Can you like say no things music. without sounding like a meme like, for once? Nintendo just walks no, up like. Reggie just walks up on stage, just like, yeah, we didn't have enough money in the budget for the trailer, so here's gameplay. No, here's what Reggie does. He walks up shirtless. What's wrong? Every with character, you? new character, tattooed on his body. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, I've had these tattoos since 2015, niggas. And then... No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. He walks up on stage, flexes so hard his shirt rips off. And then, like... And then, like, the new character's on his bicep, he starts flexing and starts yeah. doing a little dance. And then he says, now my body is ready to show you <laughs> the oh smash Oh my game. god! <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I was going for the whole time, shit. if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Alright, these new characters, man. Um, I, let's, I let's... don't think they would do arms. Like, he'll probably be in the game, but I don't think they do arms for the reveal trailer, because they'll know I okay, I that think it's be Smash right away. It'll like, be fucking be... Springman, I think, obviously. you know what I it think? It has to be Springman. I It'd think... Be, no, it'd just be Springman and, like, Ribbon Girl as alternate, like they did with Robin and Corey. I don't think we're gonna have an arms representative at launch. I think we're gonna have them as DLC, considering how early in development arms started. Right. In yeah, comparison to Smash. It's like that. already dead, too. Nintendo doesn't support it. Yeah. They do something called Party Crash. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. That's, that's, essentially, it is. Just, that's <laughs> essentially just Conquest mode in Smash 4. No one does that, though. No one yeah, does exactly. that, yeah. It's just like you pick a character one day, and it's like, oh, it's part of a Conquest. Okay. Honestly, I, I think there'll be arms representation, but like in a stage, I don't think arms is really big enough to have a character. Yeah. yeah. They could. They could. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that's that, like, another not, reason why I still think it's really, going to be DLC. It really, it's just like not popular. Well, okay, but what fighting game previously just got a stage in Smash instead of a character? Um, okay, fair enough. Street but, Fighter. Like, it got a fucking character, dumbass. Reuse a character in Smash. <laughs> oh, instead okay, of like, oh. Okay, but like. <laughs> Think about it this way. There are plenty of, like, series Pokemon that count? have a stage but get no character representation. Pokemon, okay. And... Okay. Hold up. Lionel, you're really gonna say that. Yeah. When, okay. Who's in Pokemon? Um... Charizard, Lucario, Pikachu, Gro Oh, wait. I'm they Mewtwo! Are <laughs> they aren't newcomers, damn it. There's other, there's other Pokemon that we got... We only got... Greninja isn't in there. Oh, wow. Really? Mmm. I Neither is Jigglypuff. Neither it's is a Jigglypuff. Pokemon game, Lionel. That counts, damn it. There's already fucking characters. That, that's honest, like saying... I'm honestly shocked your argument isn't... That's like isn't, saying there's no Smash characters in Pokemon. I am shocked your argument isn't there isn't a Pokemon stage, because I was clearly joking. But okay. moving on. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, okay, guys. Unrelated... But then it'll become related. Okay. Which which Pokemon game was the one where the Pokemon trainer comes in on a bicycle in the opening? Uh, that was Emerald, right? Emerald, yeah. Oh. Okay, I want the Emerald trainer as a playable <laughs> fighter, and he has to be on his bike. I want Gary Oak riding around in his car and shit, running people over. <laughs> I think what so, you're asking okay, for is an excite bike guy. You're just fighters. asking for an excite bike fighter at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I am. But I don't think the Excite Bike's popular enough, so just then put Excite Truck, fellas. Um, I don't think no, that matters. Okay. Excite Bike's a classic. Truck, it's most likely going to be like from the Ice Climbers started out as a classic, oh. and because like it's we obscure enough for people to go, what the fuck is Bruce Effects? Well, here's okay. So here's what I'm thinking, right? For arms, Springman becomes a character, right? But most of the arms characters, other than him, become assist trophies, right? Most yeah, damn. That's fair. Usually one is. Okay, good. whatever. Fucking make okay. Master Mummy an assist trophy. I... Fuck you. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yes, it is. I can no, dream. What would he do? Min -min. You already know what's gonna be. Either Min Min or Twin Tail. Twin Tail can freeze time. Yeah, Twin Tail make more sense. Yeah. Also, we get not freeze time. Slow down time. Min Min will just. Okay, wait up. No. It's either gonna be Min Min, and then it's gonna be like her like dragon laser arm. Or it's gonna be twin tail. It's just gonna smash people with her ass. Oh my yeah. god! Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get back on topic. Characters. No, we're not. Yes, <laughs> characters. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, who else? Claudette, who do you think should be in Smash? For E3. Uh, who's who do you, oh, no, we're talking Claudette. about who we think is going to be revealed in E3. Oh, there we go. I was going to say that Claudette beat him himself. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Mm, all right. Uh, just like... Bayonetta, since the third one's coming out and it's, and it's an exclusive, she's definitely coming back, but they're going to have to change a lot about her. They're yeah. going to have to not nerf that, her up the ass. Not only that, they have to make her first game design the default, because that's what they're going for in the third one. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Wait, how do you know? Wait, yeah, how do you know? We yeah, we've seen only it. seen her legs. <laughs> yeah, but it was in the... <laughs> Even then, she fucking died. <laughs> Well, she got her legs yeah. cut off, at least. Wouldn't it be funny if she's just <laughs> fucking Yo, paraplegic boy. for Bayonetta 3? Jesus. <laughs> it's stop. like the wheelchair wait, Mario mod. Stop. Wait, 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 wheelchair wait, wait. Bayonetta, she's gone around in a wheelchair, drifting like that one oh guy God. from that John oh Tron episode. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Where he's like Tokyo no, drifting. No, stop. Seriously, stop. No, stop. Okay, <laughs> alright. What if... Instead of Bayonetta, we get Rodon instead. Cool. Yo, that'd be cool. He's the he's the shopkeeper. In, oh, the black he's the big guy. tall black man in the trench coat. Yeah, he'd be the first black character in Smash, I guess. Um, Ganondorf, excuse yeah. you. Donkey Kong. I'm oh, sorry. Ganondorf <laughs> black. He's a Karoon. <laughs> but the entire <laughs> race is black, Trent. Yeah, I mean. It's Karoon. It's Karoon. It still counts. Garugamesh. Garugamesh, oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Although it's that's also not true because Dark Pit has an ult which gives him like black skin. The yellow. Uh, that 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 doesn't count as a black character. I'm sorry. Well, which you. brings up my topic, actually. Thank you. Nice okay, segue. Wait, wait, Elma wait. from Xenoblade okay, Chronicles Hold X. Hold up. In the Japanese version of Smash Four, there technically is a black character. Who? Blackfish. Oh. Moving on, <laughs> Elma from Xenoblade Chronicles X would be the best fit. Yeah. All right, here's Let's who I want in Smash, kids. fellas. Sorry, I want. Uh, but none of me. you guys play Xenoblade, so yeah. and I don't think any of you know that. So. You know, we got the obvious nigga I want, which is Shovel Knight, obviously. Everyone wants Shovel Knight. Yeah, including me. I, I'm gonna be honest. I would, I would prefer. Shantae I'm gonna rip him? that mouth off your dumb Stop. ass. Right listen, about now. listen. She has a be she has a better she has a more unique play style than nah. Shadow Knight. No, legit. She she's she's a character that can transform. She has wait, spells. Wait, wait, are you suggesting Shield Knight? No, Shantae. Okay. Thank you. No, <laughs> but Shovel Knight has an a more a more iconic. Appearance. And you know what? That's the fucking thing that pisses me off. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna go off uh, on like a, a small tangent here. Oh boy. Here I go. know for certain that Shantae just won't make it in. I've like I've come to terms with that. And you wanna know why? It's the most fucked up reason. It's because she isn't popular enough. You know who is popular? Shovel Knight. For what happened one game, but Shantae's been working her ass off for like ten years. Ten years no. of no recognition. I Ten years of mediocre no. games. Wait, wait. Don't, no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't <laughs> say that, honestly. I think Shanta at this point is, like, right behind Shovel Knight. Like, she literally just recently got <coughs> a definitive version of her own game on Switch. I bought it. It's good. It's fun. Fucking Ninja Shantae is the shit. It's a good game. Honestly, Ninja she Shantae has a chance. Better than regular Shantae. It, she is. But she, oh. Well, they're not going to put a Ninja variant. Of course I not. Know, I mean, also I the know costume. They're not. It's like they put... They, that's like they don't put Mario in, but they just put Dr. Mario in Smash. They, put, <laughs> they would totally they do that one. Mario. No, they... Mario is DLC! <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, as if the... I, I mean, he hasn't been confirmed. <laughs> he was. He's fucking confirmed. He was confirmed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Lionel's bum ass probably didn't watch the trailer. Luigi oh probably not confirmed. Yeah. Oh, I guess, boy. yeah, they would kick Luigi out when he's getting a new game. What's yeah. The, new is relative. He's getting the Luigi's Mansion remake on 3DS, so whatever. Oh my god, that fucking pisses me off. Yeah, it should have been on the Switch. Like... 
Why? Who's playing the 3DS enough to warrant it be on the 3DS itself? People of the that can't afford a Switch. People that I can't mean, afford like a Switch. The 2DS yeah. is like 80 bucks. Yeah, the 2DS. The, 2D, the, the new 2DS is like a hundred something bucks. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. But well, the old well, one is like still 80. If they can't more. afford a Switch in 2018 when the shit came out, like that shit's $300. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred. I it. I barely. <laughs> that was like. Three fourths of my paycheck to freaking buy the thing, man. They don't deserve it. Three four. Anyway, I want a character to T pose canonically in Smash. Uh, um, of like remakes and stuff, and then the occasional thing like Dylan's Rolling Western. Although that that series is like only on 3DS, so it would have been right. weird if that was on the Switch, I guess. Well, I mean, guys. Switch is 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 bringing the handhelds and the. The consoles together. That's what they're advertising, but they haven't really shown that yet. Well, I'll tell you what they should do to really show it off if they make the new Smash Switch a new game. But they put all the stages, they combine the feel, the aesthetic of the past two ones. The right. 3DS and Wii U. You know? So they might, they're, they're dead ass gonna do So that. basically, just, just the Wii U got you. No, 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 no. They're gonna add stages from the 3DS one. Uh, and they're gonna add. They might even have the art style from the 3DS one. What? No. Yeah. That's a downgrade to the Wii U one. Well, when you take when you're when the Switch is in um, about, like, the handheld mode, thingy? it's not as uh, powerful as the Wii U. It does, games don't freaking turn into freaking GameCube graphics. Fuck. Yeah, the 3DS is not GameCube graphics. It is. It's like slightly above GameCube graphics. Yeah, slightly Actually, above. See, it's not. It's on par. It's slightly below. <laughs> oh, th well, there you go. Actually, it no. You it's my crack know, theory. Whatever. You can probably handle more. Either way, next. Who who else has... Can we get okay, Mr. Wait, Bean in Smash? Here. We've already hold said... Up, hold, up. Uh, hold up. Community vote. What? If you... <laughs> if they were to replace Sonic with Dylan, how mad would you be? <laughs> Not mad? I'd be pretty... <laughs> I'd be pretty miffed. I don't fucking care about Sonic and Smash. I care. I know you do. Yeah, I mean, like, he's just become annoying at this point. Yeah. He's not fun to play. Don't, don't replace him. Give him a better moveset. It's as simple as that. Give him his give him his Sonic Advance moveset. Like, that moveset... I don't know why they didn't do that to begin with. They kept a lot of the uh, these, like standard attacks. Like, Sonic and Project M, like, that would have been a much... He's less annoying there. Well, it's because he has a different... Here's the thing. I'm up for keeping Sonic and Dylan. Like, I could see them playing potentially different. Okay, but Dylan, I, I, I just don't get... Why would you replace Sonic after... He's been in two games. That's, like, basically confirmation he's going to be in the next one. You know? Yeah, well, uh, why would you get rid of Ice Climbers? Because they didn't fit on the 3DS. Yeah, that makes, yeah. That makes We sense. understand that already. They're going to be back, obviously. There's no reason for them to keep them out. Why would you get rid of the oh, fuck? Actually, is there somebody who fits this mold? Hold up. No. Exactly, no one. Because I know Sakurai. I've studied this man my entire life. I know what Sakurai is doing. I see his ass. We all see his ass. No, you don't. You don't. You're blind. I see Sakurai. I know everything he's doing. And I can explain away everything he did ever. Okay. Yes. Serious. Okay. All right. Um. Well, okay, so we have, we have, uh, we have, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is great, <laughs> we have Elma from Xenoblade Chronicles X, we have, I guess, Shantae, I don't know, I brought I that up, Shovel Knight. Um, um, we have Shovel Knight, yeah, whatever, everyone wants those too. I, I at least want Chibi Robo as, um, an assist trophy, as an assist trophy, be nice. I know well, he's not going to be a character, because this series <laughs> is dead. Well, I'm just gonna so, go down in history as the one man who still wants Chibi Robo. I want Chibi Robo too, but I want some people. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. Like I guess it's it's the same way as Captain Falcon hasn't got a new game, and but he's still in Smash. Exactly. Yeah. And Ness That's will like never a, get like a, a new game. He was yeah. there since '64, and he's just known as a Smash character now, not even an F-Zero character. That's true. I, that, that's fair. 
I guess, I mean, like, when you look at a character like Duck Hunt, who has one game. Haven't played F Zero. I mean, technically, Captain Falcon wasn't really a character even then. His car was. Then Smash came out, and then GX came out. He had comics. Then Melee came out, and then he. Comics, my ass. Who read those? Come on. Who read those? Who read those? People who bought the game because they came with the game. Oh, wait, which game? Uh, the first two games came with little comics in the instruction manual. Oh. Anyway, um, yeah, it was bad though. <laughs> it was just memeable. Yeah, Falc- There's like Falcon Punch is just really satisfying, you know. A man committing suicide you know, like a, by jumping into like a black hole, by Falcon punching fist. someone right in the face, and then they both fall in the down. shape of a falcon. Yeah. So, wait, who? Okay, so who do we have so far? Who do we have in this? We well, need we need a Pokemon. We need a Pokemon. Shantae, Springman, Shovel Knight. New Pokemon representation. Elma. I think this UI is a little obvious. Uh, Everybody says that I'm I gonna go, be honored. They gotta get rid of some of the other ones. I, I think make, I think like, the reason Decidueye Fire is too obvious is because they didn't add Greninja because he was in Pokin. I'm going to be honest. You know, they added him because he's a cool character. I want Mimikyu. <laughs> they thought, yeah, like they thought he was yeah I ca- cool well, Mimikyu would make a good, like, a good Pokemon assist. assist. You, throw the, you throw the Pokeball and then Mimikyu comes out. I want, no, I want Mimikyu as a playable character. Because then we have that dynamic from again. Mimikyu and Pikachu. Like, just, like, yeah. legit. Like, There's a reason Pichu never came back. Well, P- Mimikyu <laughs> is completely it's different from Pichu. It's damage for itself. It's so. Itself, whatever. What yeah. the f- who the fuck cares? I think you would care, honestly. No, I hate Pichu. No. <laughs> oh, I-, I thought you were caring about like. I care about Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. Likes Pichu besides my little brother. Your little brother likes Pichu. He likes Pichu as a character. Damn, I should have killed him when I had the as chance. A char- oh, did he watch the Pichu brothers? Oh, probably. Um, I don't know, probably. I hated that. The only good thing about the Pichu brothers was the looping gif of that Pichu slapping his ass. That was pretty funny. That's it, though. That's oh, the only man, good thing. I'm sure that didn't spark anything on the internet. Either. Oh, I'm sure it didn't either. Anyway. It's not actually a lot of Pichu porn on the internet. So what? Can we not? <laughs> I, I would hope not. They're children. <laughs> okay, can I? Okay, I gotta. That I never gotta, stopped uh, anyone, uh, Ivory. Stop! Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> Stop! Can I get Stop! Another topic? Uh, uh, sure. Like a completely different topic. It's, like... I mean, it's Smash related, but right. uh, hold on, let me get my let me get my other two out and then we can go. All right. Okay. So I know Game Explain made a video about this, and I know what I said it wouldn't happen. <coughs> but, I still, but I still want Bandana. Dude. Yeah. I know. I kind of want has a fucking like he has so much potential for a new and awesome move set, but he's just not so, popular. With it. I think I have a theory. I think, and I know this is a crack theory, and this because I, there's already an explanation for why this wasn't in Smash 4, but notice how they changed uh, uh, King Dedede's side B from the Waddle Dee throw to the Gordo toss. Now, they did this to save, to save space for the 3DS version. However, however, maybe they could have done it because it'd be awkward if you're playing as as Bandana D and he's throwing out Waddle Dees, you know? Not, no, not really. Bandana okay. D is completely no. different from other Waddle Dees. Like, he, he has a bandana really... and a spear. That's the only thing that separates him. He's a joke character. Yeah. He's <laughs> that a... got turned into a real thing. Yes, he's a... that's true. He's a good character, but he's just a but, fucking Waddle Dee with but, a bandana but, on. But, you know who else He has no joke? other... Just... Duck Hunt is a joke character. Get that. But weird. Duck Hunt has... Is. A distinct visual appearance that looks nothing like so anyone does, else in Smash. So does Bandana. No, he doesn't. He has a fucking bandana and a spear. That's the only thing that separates him from any other Waddle D. That's right. Shut your ass up. All right. What's next? <laughs> what are we gonna say? Uh, uh, wait. Oh, wait, are you still going? Uh, I got one more. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. See. Sorry, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm surprised Lyle didn't suggest this, but this is probably because it's like also never gonna happen. Klonoa. Klonoa? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not probably not gonna that's, happen. No, I know that's never gonna. Dude, that's, that's just my dream happen. pick. Let's, I I, we were talking happen, about. But... We were talking about people that I. We were talking about people that were gonna be in E3 
That's why oh. I suggested Elmer. Okay, okay. Then I have another one. But I have another one. And this one kind of has some validity. What? Okay, so you know how <laughs> uh, the Spyro trilogy doesn't have a Switch port yet. Oh, wow, they're going to reveal what the Switch if, port? What, what if they're saving it for E3, and with that, they're going to unveil not only Spyro, but Crash as a playable character? I'm going to be honest. I, eh, I think one of them has a chance. I think Spyro would be more Spyro? interesting than Crash, because... He's but got a cool moveset. Crash probably have a better chance, I would think. Yeah. It's just how it is. You gotta take the... I... Uh, no. No. Sakurai... I, I know hate, Sakurai. Okay, I hate okay? that mentality. And I don't like, think I just... Sakurai... Sakurai doesn't pick characters because they're popular. Like, just because they're popular. He also picks characters because they're interesting picks. Too. Yeah. So and Spyro is a mixture like, between... That's why we need Rayman in Smash. Ma Rayman this has a lot of popular... This could Snake in just because his son wanted it. Yes. Yes. That's fucking amazing. I mean, it was a cool character and all, but it was like, that was the reason he got in. It's because his Wait, son was like, what's up? You put him in Smash. Kojima okay. literally called Sakurai and was like, yo, my son wants Snake in Smash. Can oh, we yeah. do this? And then he did it. I mean, he had the yeah, right Sakurai back then, was just like, I don't know. I just got done making Melee. I could probably squeeze him into the next one. Because he actually <laughs> called during the production of Melee. Yeah. Although it's funny because Brawl is... Brawl's aesthetic fits Snake. Like, Snake and looks Snake. good in Brawl. He's like one of the only characters that looks really good in Brawl because he it's because Brawl fits. Is supposed to look more realistic. Yeah. Than Snake He's than the most character. realistic Smash character it's ever. It's high. Let me open up. We've been shouting in this room with no insulation. You need to get a fan. With nothing but insulation. I need to need to buy a fan. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, give my idea. Do you think there's a chance they could give a Smash-only original character. No, no. They did it with Mr. Game & Watch. Never gonna be a That's not Smash original. Like, like basically, that you play is at this with. point. No. Like an actual character you play with. He not has like history. That, uh, one butterfly wing dude from Brawl. Taboo? Yeah, Taboo? No, that's not gonna, that's not gonna We are happen. not getting playable boss characters. We're not. No, 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 no. Like, just Lionel, that... What he's suggesting is that, uh, like, an all brand new character in Smash Bros. that's never had a series, he's, like, completely original to Smash. But we're not going to get a Ruby Heart situation. It's just not going to happen. Mostly because Ruby Heart was supposed to have a series in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but then that just, like, fell through the cracks. Nobody ever heard of her ever again. Which is sad because she's a really good design and also a very good playable character. Because she's hot, right, Ivory? Well, uh, that's half the reason. <laughs> that laugh, okay. All right. All right. So um, just add that, just, okay. Uh, Jesus. What other topic you guys want to do? Uh, what's next? What's next on the list, yeah. Mario, Mario. Make, or Mario movie plot ideas. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a joke I idea. I don't know why. I'd... This is... This... I got nothing. No. But honestly, if they put a minion in it, I'm gonna fucking set fire. They will not put a minion. The in opening, it. the they opening, they're, they're gonna pull a Pixar and have an opening the Mario scene hat because it's by Illumination, and they always. I know, I if know. If you do a Mario they're, hotel they're joke, be like, if you do a Mario uh, hotel joke, hotel Mario joke, hotel Mario oh joke, <laughs> I will. If this film <laughs> fucking opens up with Mario and Luigi oh walking, God. and you see the back of them. <laughs> I will buy 50 tickets for this fucking movie. Oh my god. <laughs> I want him to make I want to make him do 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 if it fucking opens that way. Just a slight any possible reference to Hotel Mario. I think I might kill myself. I don't know, man. That's just too good to be true. If you want my honest opinion for a a a plot for a Mario movie. Honestly, like just take the butt from honesty. No. Well, maybe that could work. Well, I mean, but eh. shit, I was hoping we get like a sunshine esque plot where it's simple. That too. That too. Sunshine, no, there's it not too many. To there's not Bowser sunshine. Boy, like... You it, for a Mario movie, you need to have very very good setting, and having one simple setting, like That's one true. beach setting in a Mario movie, right. in a Mario movie, just doesn't. All right. All right, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so guys. Would you prefer if Mario had dialogue or if Mario was silent throughout the entire thing? If he was silent, that would be interesting. I actually... Okay, have you guys seen the Shaun the Sheep movie? He's not Link, though. He does oh, talk. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Mario talks. He's not Wait, silent. Wait, hold up. Shh. 
no, no, no. Okay, but like, okay, he can make like. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Like noises. Woo. He, no, he, he, he legit. Like noises, he yeah. said yeah. words, unlike yeah. Link. He All talks. toasters. Yeah. Like toast. They, yeah, like toast. They should have Charles Martinet as the voice actor, but if he talks like Mario too long, it's going to get really stale. It's yeah. like Let's hearing Lucas. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Then have like another voice actor. actor. It's as simple as that. Yeah, get me. I'll play Mario. Stop. Let's Do be honest. Mario. Charles Martinet could like barely sustain that voice anymore because his performance in Odyssey is very weak. Are you kidding me? I love it. I love it. It's so no, 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 he's not saying he's not saying it's what bad it? acting. He's saying in example. comparison. Wait, sh- hold up. My examples. Anytime, what? anytime that Mario gets on the Odyssey and sails away, he's just like, wahoo, let's go. It's like very weak. Are you kidding and me? I, His ribbit was the greatest thing ever. They might have done that for a reason, but I don't know why they did it. Because he's getting old, guy. He's getting old. Doesn't seem very happy. He is getting like, very old. Yeah, when he dies, I hope I get his place. I'm just saying, I'm making an observation. Like, it, a lot of people have observed that, like, before Odyssey. Like, Mario's yeah. voice has, used to be very high-pitched. I wonder how he sounds in Aces. That'd be interesting. No, but, like, in Galaxy, it was a good middle ground, you know? Yeah. That was ten years ago. I... <laughs> It was ten that years. was ten years oh ago. God. I want that to sink in. That I'm was ten sorry. years ago. I it's true. Don't that. It's true. And Galaxy Two just reused the clip. So yeah, it was ten years ago. It was the last yeah. time you got a shot at voicing anything. Wow, so. I oof, man, I did not realize. Yeah, he's gonna like. <clears throat> do well, it was twelve years ago now, but still. It came out in two thousand six. I think two thousand seven. Oh, it was two thousand seven. So it was, it was eleven. Eleven years ago. Jesus Christ, how old am I? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Okay, back back to plot ideas. Yeah. Um, um yeah. If they do have we need there, Okay. I like have an idea Mario. for two plots. It's like the rabbit thing, it's just Mario and no, no! No! No, guys, let's no, focus, no, please! No, 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 no! I have I do not want a Mario and Rabbit movie. There is two ways they could go about this. They could either go the generic route where it's literally like Mario and Luigi live in Brooklyn. All of a sudden, they fucking what? opens okay. up with them walking to their house. I cannot get a word in. God. God. You're like us, the only woman on the podcast. You're trying to get a word in. We all Boy, get please. You. Anyway. <laughs> Like, they could go the boring route, where they're from Brooklyn, they get transported into the Mushroom Kingdom Peach. She's like, help me! And then she gets kidnapped. And then they okay, go on an adventure, meet new people, yada yada. Lionel, what you're suggesting is that they make an animated recreation of a live-action movie. They're actually already... They basically That, or they did. do a live-action... They do an animated recreation of the other Guys. Mario movie that exists, which is the Japanese one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Which Although one? they're not in Brooklyn, they're in some weird fucking place that they're like a they're in a supermarket, I think. I or really or <laughs> or they could stick to the game's lore. Well, and have it. The games have no consistent lore. <laughs> well, they do because of Yoshi's Island. Well, even then, that's a little uh, iffy because when they go back in Mario, because uh, the Mario and Luigi games aren't canon, right? No, they're not. Okay, they're a completely different series. Okay. What if we get, like, no. a really good Paper Mario reference in this game? Oh, we're, we're not I getting that. For a Paper Mario movie. We're not getting... I'll, I would love yeah. that, but we're not getting that either. It's true, we're not. That'd take too much effort for Illumination. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't even be by Illumination, honestly. Yeah, That'd probably be, like, the people that made movie Lego movie, movie yeah. if anything. Yeah. What if the Mario movie doesn't even star Mario? What if it's, like, told from the perspective of... Mario? What if Mario gets kidnapped and it's starring Luigi? What yeah, if it's, like, total so perspective? That feels like the sequel. That does feel like the sequel, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you gotta establish who the, these characters... It's just Mario's, like... I don't know, he's not that interesting. Mario... Okay. It's not about, like... No, that's the thing. The main character in most kids' shows isn't interesting. It's what no. he does with other people around him that makes him know. interesting. Let's okay. see. Who's a kid's character that I don't think's interesting? Um... I, I watch. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't think of any one that's not interesting. I can think of plenty of main characters that are interesting. I know one that isn't interesting oh. from some anime. Oh well, it's fucking oh, anime. What, it's one anime. It's a kids anime. I don't watch anime. 
I watch anime. Yeah. Okay, okay. Weeb. Kiwi. What? Kiwi. I don't want that isn't interesting. What? Steven. Yes. What do you mean, yes? No, he's right. Steven is not... Are you kidding me? No. Steven's really interesting. He, but you know what makes Steven's him interesting? Not even him. What made him is what makes him interesting. No. He's not an interesting no. character. He just has an interesting background. No, 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 no. The way that his optimism and the way he acts and talks with the other gems oh, and how he is like, there's a reason oh, he's the main character because he like, can carry his like, own episodes he talks every single episode well, you can't talk ivory you haven't seen every episode i've seen two and that's enough you've for seen me. two episodes ivory, I'm there's sorry. 200 episodes ivory i'm yeah. sorry but you can't talk you can't you know who can talk? Wait, Every I'm other sure. fucking stock blocker. <laughs> stock Kyle okay, has okay, seen okay, more episodes than you. Okay, wait, wait. I've seen plenty of reviews and like That doesn't count! Reviews. That doesn't okay, count! Wait, that does not count. Wait. That doesn't count. You no, have to have your own opinion, I agree. You have to have your own opinion. You can't just look at other people's opinions and just assume. Is that Steven is fucking annoying. I'm not I'm him. not disagreeing with you. you. I'm agreeing with you here. I think Steven, he's not a bad character. He's boring, but I mean, what he does around the other crystal gems makes him an interesting character. I don't think he's boring. I think he's interesting. But yes, I think it'd be interesting if, back to my point, if Mario doesn't talk... Because the Shaun the Sheep movie, oh no one fucking says any lines of dialogue in that entire film, other than like some laughs and there's like a fart and garbled, and garbled like shit. But no that. one talks in it, and it's a fantastic film. So it's not that was a kid show that started on the Disney Channel. It, it's a kids movie, and it's amazing. Because Mario is going to be a kids movie, and then they can pull it off. It's not like this is impossible to pull off. Well, it's not. Okay, let's, talk, let's calm down. No Kiwi, no one said it was impossible. I know. I'm just saying I they could, but you know Illumination. I'm just saying, of... knowing Mario, they won't do that. Knowing Illumination, they can't pull it off. Yeah, they can't. They are the fucking, like, like the yeah. kings of in-your-face humor, and, like, not in a good way. Because they're not good at it. Mario, they just, they do it a lot. Mario has Mario. great... Mario can have great slapstick humor. Yeah. It can. It has done it before. Absolutely. Oh and I think... God, just, get the, just get the writers from Thousand Year Door. That shit was funny. Yeah. Actually... Oh, wait, no, better yet. Get the writers from Colors Club. Yeah, they were good. Well, the I liked those writers. Well, <laughs> well, the game wasn't very good. The Illumination fight, isn't like, writing it alone. The, like, sh the, the, the creator of Mario is with them. He's making sure they're doing mm. their job right. The creator of Mario has also been holding him back. The creator of Mario is the reason why we can't get a Thousand Year Door... Well, actually, I remember that Arlo video. It's not... Uh, it was the... What's his name? That other guy who's overseeing Paper Mario. He's an anime villain, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> telling you right now. I don't know his name. He's some Japanese dude with glasses. That's God, all I remember. It's so hot. I remember him shouting in this room. Yes, we have. It's blazing. Yeah, I know. It's good. Do you have a fan? No, but I have entrance to the outside. That won't help. It's hot outside. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I was going to say, uh, no, I don't have a I'm really scared that Illumination is just going to go like, oh, well, it's Mario. We don't have to establish anything. Everybody oh, knows Mario. Nothing. And then the movie's just going to be shitty because, like, oh. much like any anime movie, it's built specifically for the fans, which isn't inherently a bad thing. DBZ? Like it's gonna alienate a lot of casual movie boys. Because it's you know? Mario like, isn't like thing something that needs a tight like audience. Others. Wait, what, yeah, yeah, Mario is He's literally Italian. so iconic. Like, don't, you think... I don't think they reference pasta in anything else but the show, do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, liter that's literally. Green, Wait, like a no, color. they do reference pasta in Super Mario sixty four when Mario's asleep. Ah, oh, spaghetti. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. And also, they do it yeah, in a lot of spin off games. It's always spaghetti. also Mario is typing. Mario teaches typing, Mario teaches typing. Is not which is canon. not canon it's, ever. It's not <laughs> just because it has Charles Martinet in it doesn't mean it's canon. I mean, I I know it's not. I was just saying, like you said, you guys said no game ever. So, well, Lionel, if you're hot, take your shirt off. <sighs> I know you hate doing yeah, it, but no one's watching. Other than it's me. a good time to move on to the next. Uh, yeah. Topic. Yeah. So yeah, probably. Uh, I guess you guys are wanting to talk about this earlier, so best 3D and best 2D platformer. Oh, Alright, well, okay, okay, hold up, okay. We'll start, we'll start with 2D. We'll Thank you, 2D. I was about to do that. Thank what? you. Thank you. <laughs> Super Mario World, end of story. 
Yep. Um, I, 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 I can agree I with that. With all the secrets and. Yeah. Uh, I'm like the weirdo. And, branching paths, and I actually have secrets, to disagree. Cool. I prefer Level Super Mario. Livery, let Lionel talk. Real quick. Okay, anyway. I, I would have to disagree. I prefer Super Mario Bros. 3. That's me, though. That's fair. Yeah, it's a What's good game. What's the reasoning, though? I never, I never really had the chance to fully experience Super Mario World yet. Yeah, but you haven't even 100%ed it. Wait a minute! That is not even like a reason to disagree then if you've never played the game that you can't say well you can say can we it's not get your, on this you can say it's not your favorite but that's not <laughs> that's what i'm saying i'm saying it's not my favorite okay but you can't like that's not a we're talking I, about our favorite the worst part is that i can't say you're wrong because you've never played the game fuck huh, this is uh, just I've, like listen Steven i've seen people play, exactly <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> oh, oof. Damn, Ivory. <laughs> oh, God. I understand why you guys are so fucking annoyed now. Yep. I can't tell you you're wrong because you better play the game. And I can't yeah. now because the Wii shop is closed, so. The Wii U Everybody shop is still open and everything. it's got Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World still on it, so there's Ooh. no excuse. Really? Yeah, Wii U still has Mario World on it. That's how I oh. 100%ed it. Wow. Well, there you go. I'm gonna play it then. Or like the non GTA <laughs> version, I guess. Kiwi U save states. Alright, so is the is what you guys consider the best 2D platformer? Is it your favorite 2D platformer, or is there a different yeah. one? Yeah. Super Mario World's my favorite 2D platformer. Oh. Alright. Oh, Lionel's got to go. He's got to clean up his cereal. He forgot. Um, clean up his cereal. Cereal. Yeah. Is um, he coming back? He's coming back. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, I guess just onto the 3D platformer one. Ooh, this this is gonna be good. Oh, well, I, so like Mario 64, what? Sunshine, well, okay, Mario Galaxy 64 is my second okay, favorite. That's 3D. Okay, 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 okay. Just rip Sunshine off the list. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, don't that's take it off. One. One. That's a platformer. Okay, yeah, but just take it off the list. No one's gonna no. argue. For that. No one's gonna argue for it. I thought you were about to argue for it, Ivory. Why the fuck would I argue for I it? I thought you really liked it. I like it. It's not a good game, though. Oh, okay, good. I like. I like the game. I'll play it. It's just not a good game. I'm gonna fully. I'm gonna wholeheartedly say that it's a bad game. Is but it I because like of it. how glitchy it is, or Dude, just? It's a fucking glitchy mess, and like things are inconsistent. Like, it's just. It's a mess. It's a mess of a game, quite literally. Mm. <laughs> the stupid. Uh, uh, what is it? Ping pong thing or whatever. Yeah. Pachinko? Pinball. Dude, Pachinko. Oh, yeah, no, I guess it is Pachinko. Isn't it? Okay, I can okay, I can admire Sunshine for one thing. The secret levels are a great idea, but the way they're executed in the game is fucking terrible. I mean, like the actual. Oh my god, levels. the poison lake, the yeah. Pachinko machine, all I'm back. bad. Sorry about that. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. There's only one to. Actually, eh, there's a couple. There's a couple that work. I, I do like the one. stages where they get rid of flood though. Those are interesting because it, yeah, those are good. it feels those are good. different. Yeah. It's Fall like through the floor in some of them. It's true. So makes it a lot more because you're like so used to using flooded to like save yourself if you fall off. Okay, okay, like, that's another that's another thing. That's another thing. Flood has no reason to exist. Yes. Yeah. Because like flood is <clears> only <throat> an excuse to get rid of Mario's long jump. Which sucks. What do you mean? He's part of the no, 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 because you can't crouch anymore in Sunshine. Yeah. You can't crouch, you can't long jump. You can't backflip. a lot of things you can't do. You can't I was so upset when you couldn't backflip. Um, I didn't even know it was a thing. Like, the black, the backflip, criminally underrated move. I love using it. Now, Wait, I never use it anymore because the ground pound jump is, like, better in every way, but, you know. That's... That's, a, like, a really good thing they added in Odyssey. The ground yeah. pound jump. Uh, Although, Odyssey. it's funny. They didn't actually add it in Odyssey. They added it in 3D World. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. But <laughs> it's, it's just... Way everyone forgot about 3D World, World too. Time. Well, I think 3D World's good. I like it's... 3D World's good, but it's not a 3D flat... Huh. Well, it's 3D, and it's a platformer. Yeah, but yeah it's, it's 3D. It doesn't... 3D it's, it's not the same vein. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's not. It feels like that if Nintendo had everything they wanted, that's the game they would have made. That's what Mario 64 would have been. Oh. 
thank God it wasn't. Yeah, I know. I, I prefer what Mario sixty four. We got was. Cappy, my new husband. Yeah, so. I know. See, me and me and Lionel, we stop, agree. Stop. He's like a midget. <laughs> He's it's my a midget, damn it. He's my know. he's my cutie. Yeah, well, you know, Lionel's already a midget, so it's fine. Exactly. <laughs> Oof. I'm not okay, to the people out there who are a midget, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> To the people out there I'm who not, are midget. <laughs> yeah, good I'm idea. not I'm not into it, but I'm just saying it's not impossible for you to, you know, to be a Haas Bondo. I'm just, I'm just saying. Haas Bondo. It's Haas. Haas Bondo. That's what I said. I you said, said Haas Bondo. You said Haas With an S. With an O. Okay, whatever. We'll get it actually. All right. But now, and here's it. what comes in. Why Odyssey anyway. is the best game ever made. <sighs> you can make your defense, but uh, I'm not going to believe you. What? All right, so best 3D platformer, I guess. So, Let, so yeah, yeah. Now, that, now that we've thoroughly roasted uh, Sunshine, we can go to the real topics. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Which, Let's start with the bad... First, I want to defend Galaxy. I feel like oh. Galaxy with that video uh, that wrote... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't let, know. Him let him that, talk. Let him talk. Let, let, kind of let Kiwi is... talk. Let Kiwi talk. Well, I don't know. There's some moments in Galaxy, I'll like... Let, I'll, let, I'll let you defend it, but I'm just going to tell you right now it's not... I'll let you finish. Okay, so there's that <laughs> sunshine <laughs> level. There's that sunshine level in Galaxy 2, right? The beach ball one. Yeah. That shit, that entire stage is better than everything Sunshine fucking has. Yeah. Okay. I agree. And that's because, well, it's just Mario Galaxy Two and Galaxy to a lesser extent. I think Two is better. I think Two is what Galaxy should have been. But it it's so point. it's so tight. There's very few glitches that really impact the gameplay. I can't think of any like bugs I really experienced while playing it. You know. Whereas 64, it's pretty tight, you know, but there's some really, there's some things that really piss me off in 64. When you get on a ledge, and this is my biggest issue, when you get on a ledge, and then you start doing this, the camera starts jittering, and you start doing this weird kind of falling animation, what the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and then also, when you're trying to turn around with Mario, and you do it too fast, and he kind of does this weird semicircle and falls off and dies... Fuck right, is that? Fair. Fair. Um, one thing I'll give Mario 64 is that it has the best side somersault. Um, although I think Galaxies is also pretty good. Uh, but the best long jump goes to Galaxy. Because the long jump fits with the gravity mechanics. When you're on a tiny planet and you long jump, it's like the greatest thing ever. It's so simple. But I have so much fun doing it. I don't care if it's like... I don't know. Maybe I'm being a child. But long jumping on a tiny planet? Oof. Unparalleled. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know uh, how to respond. Well, Mario 64's long jump is very... It's interesting. Like... It works. It's functional. It's limited because the game was limited. Case well, it's limited was. because... When you throw out a long jump, that's a huge fucking risk, all right? When you throw out a long jump in Galaxy, you can correct it a little bit with uh, spin, with the spin. And when you throw out a long jump in Sunshine, well, you can't. <laughs> well, when you throw out a long jump in Odyssey, is what I meant to say, you can correct it with Cappy. But when you throw out a long jump in 64, unless there's a wall there to wall jump off of, you're fucked. You go, well, oof, and you die. Well, here's the thing, Huey. Maybe you should learn how to wall jump. Maybe you should learn how to long jump correctly. Nah, bro. Let's talk about... Well, that's where the skill cap comes Here's in. Here's another thing I want to bring up. I or, think 64... Hold on, hold okay, on please. Faggot. This is quick. Odyssey's wall jump in comparison to 64. 64 has a very tight window for wall jumping. Otherwise, yeah. you just hit the wall. Yeah, but the, the, the... Okay, to be fair. The risk versus reward for wall jumping in 64, I kind of like... I like the concept of it. The execution is weak as hell, because I can never pull it off consistently, no matter how good I am at that fucking game. Wall jumping is a pain in the ass. I like wall kicking, I guess. That's what it's actually called. It converts momentum well, and I think it does its job. But, you know, once Sunshine introduced the wall slide, you know, there's a reason why they never went back. 
Anyway, uh, Odyssey's the best. Yeah. I mean, Ivory's not saying right. anything. Not yet. <laughs> All right, Ivory, Ivory, you give your argument, I guess. No, he's he's uh, muted. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, what? Uh, that he what? muted. He had to do something. Um, but now that Ivory's gone, I can say definitively that Odyssey is the best. I think it has the most refined gameplay. I think it's interesting how you know Ivory argues that sixty four is the best when it has the least refined gameplay. Mm. Like it's very choppy and it really shows its age. Unless you're like simple flips, it's well, really. Like he mostly plays mods nowadays. Yeah, but like unless you're simple flips where you know it like the back of your damn hand, mm. and. In Odyssey, you can still know the move set with the back of your hand, but there's always this little skip that you can always perform. That's so nice and cool because of how free the move set feels. Sunshine. Ivory's playing. <laughs> Ivory's playing 64 games. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, boy. Wait, what? <laughs> Now's not the time. It's a podcast, dude. I'm playing the best Mario game right oh, now. Oh yeah. Where's my please, switch? <laughs> please, can we can we please not? Yeah, guys, it's a podcast, guys, this dude. is unprofessional. Put your put your. All right, kids, put your gaming devices away. It's time for bed. Because we're not kidding. All right, it kids, we're home early. <laughs> Hi, kids, Hi, we're home early. Are you gonna give your argument then? Yes. Well, do it, bitch. Okay. All right, I'm not okay. You know what? I have nothing against. Uh, Odyssey yes, in terms do. of controls. I think Mario has controlled the tightest he's ever been in Odyssey. I don't have a problem with that. It's the th the thing about Odyssey that pisses Ooh. me off, and what I don't like about it is the collectibles. They don't mean anything. Yes, they, they do. Don't feel like oh, they mean anything. Talk. They're treated like blue coins and sunshine. They're just spread about with no fucking thought or care. There's no point. I always like. It's just a hassle to try and find them because some of them are just in places that you would never know. Like, you'd never think to look... Okay, here's a prime example. I have two of them, actually. Right. One is that... Okay, so one is that rocks. What do you usually get on a rock? In either... Like, when you kick one, it cracks open. You're like, oh, okay. Let me just crack... Let me just kick it another time. It cracks more. I'm like, okay... <laughs> And then the third one, it cracks open, and there's nothing. And I'm like, okay. I crack another one, and all there is is a coin. And I'm like, okay. So the game is teaching me that the only things that come out of these things, because I've been doing this for a while now, right, is that there's either nothing or there's a coin. Up, 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 up. Stop. Those are the two things that it would give you let him finish. on a normal basis. He's missing but something then, crucial. He's I missing know, something crucial. I know, let him crucial. finish. Then, then, then say your one time. One time in the Wooded Kingdom, I just randomly walked by a rock. I didn't even mean to kick it. It just, I mean, it's close to me. I kick it and it starts glowing. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then I kick it again. And then I kick it again. There's a fucking moon inside of it. What? The game never states that there's ever a moon. It's never once taught you that there's anything super important in a rock besides a coin. Why the fuck did one time, one time it decides, hey, let's put a moon. Why not? Well, you've obviously never got every single moon because they do I the rock. No, 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 no. That can't be possible. You never got the rock in the Fallen Kingdom. You never got the rock in the Sand Kingdom. Okay, but like that doesn't, like, no, that doesn't. That's not, it's just if if they that. do it multiple times, it's okay. It's like it's no, it's like it's that's just, that's how secrets work, Ivory. You're not supposed to. It's not supposed to be immediately obvious I've to you. These and here's okay. And here's another thing. Here's another point. Let's say you don't know. So you go over to the Takatu, right? Right. That's cheating. No, it's that's not. Cheating. He's right fucking there the whole time. No, Takatu is cheating. No, he's not. <laughs> Fucking cheater! No, he is not cheating. <laughs> it's not a. Ch it's not if cheating. Have, no, I, Ivory. It's not cheating so if it's. Swords, that's cheating. Ivory, if listen. You to tell you listen. He's giving you the name of the moon. That doesn't give it away, Ivory. That's the equivalent. That is the equivalent of 
when you go into 64 and you click one of the stars and it tells you the name of the star, Pretty is that cheating? Game. No, it's not. It's giving you a little hint. It's not cheating. Yeah, but that's not part of the game. It is part, part of the, the game. game. No! It's yeah. coded in there and they're right there at the beginning of the level. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was cheating. They went, they went how to begin with. Okay. All right. Fine. We'll call it truce on this one. No, you're going to call it that no, I win because no, I'm right. No, we're going to call it a truce and not oh. discuss this anymore. What? Ivory didn't even argue about 64. He's just talking why he didn't like Odyssey. Okay, but here's exactly, the thing. Yeah. I have another thing about Odyssey, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so there's another moon. Okay, you know what's the funniest talk, part about this? Just talk about <laughs> why you like 64 <laughs> more. You're just talking no, no, about no, no. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to hear this. explain my point here. You want to know the funny part about, like, how I discovered this? What? You know Pro ZD? Yeah. He made an Odyssey oh, video. Oh, is it about looking up in the, the thing and seeing the, uh... When, okay, when he said that, I thought that was a joke. I didn't... Like, I thought that was a joke. Like, oh, he was just, just thinking of, a, like, a, a hypothetical situation because Odyssey's moons are, like, ridiculously like, arbitrary. Like, they're kind of dumb. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I'll just brush that off, because that doesn't actually happen in the game. I can't. But, like, there's no explanation. One day, I'm like, okay, I don't know where some of these moons are. And I generally forget about this fucking vine, by the way. I don't know where some of these moons are. I'll just look up some locations. One uh, of these fuckers is the exact description of what he says, and I'm like, are you fucking Oh, kidding? Ivory, that's what? cheating! No, 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 <laughs> I, got that. I got it. I'm aware, but at this point, I didn't care. You didn't now, even go to talk to or the hint toad that tells you exactly what you need to do. That's that's cheating. Oh, oh, but what you did isn't. I'm trying to 100 percent it. It's, right? it's, it's, it's only different. cheating when you do it. Oh, you know? I see. No, <laughs> I see. It's that makes sense. It's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Ivory, you're fighting a losing battle here. Look. Look, if, okay, here's my point on this. If you have to be told, like, directly where it is, because you can't find it, that's not good game design. But, okay, but here's the thing, though. You know how I figured it out? I didn't figure it out the first time by talking to Takatu or uh, going to Hint Toad or whatever. I was looking through the thing because I thought, you know, whatever. And then I see a fucking Sphinx flying around. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I zoom in, and then it zooms in automatically for me. And I'm thinking, why is it zooming in automatically? And then suddenly a moon pops out of it, right? So I didn't have to use Hint Toad for that. I figured that out okay, myself, because I'm not a dumbass. Not, the game does, never directly tells you that there's It shouldn't have to! Die. Why does it have to tell you that? Yeah, because there's... how you're supposed to know that! This um, is so fucking Ivory. Ivory. How are you supposed to know you're Ivory. supposed to point a cannon Ivory. at a wall in Womp's Fortress? Ivory. 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 Answer me that. That's also true, but Ivory. You don't even need all the moons to beat the game. That's the thing. You don't. Okay, but if you're trying to 100% it, you need to do that. If you're trying to 100% it, you've already beat the game. That's after... That's post-game shit. So, no wonder it's harder. Right there. Oof. Case closed. He's silent as shit. But the Ivory, <laughs> would you, you talk about 64 and why you like it? Yeah, that's true. I want to hear Does that. Does the collectibles feel like they mean something? Um, the collectibles feel like they mean something because they're categorized in missions. And there's not as many... There's red... one collectible in the game, Ivory. <laughs> red star, red coins. Red coins give you the same collectible. Star. Yeah, it's not really a collectible, then. They just give you a star. It's just an objective. Them. Hell, you don't even need the red coins to beat the game, right? Yeah. Okay. That's like, okay, it's I like, my, it's okay, like wait, this, wait, right? Wait, let me explain. I think my main thing against Odyssey is that it's not even, like, what it's set out to be. Hmm. Literally, they lied on stage. How? Saying that, How? This, yeah. that this is supposed to be a continuation of 64. Because it isn't. How is it it's not? It's not even... Because... 64, by definition, is an objective-based platformer. Yes. Odyssey 
is not an objective-based platform. Yes, it it's is. An, oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's listen, an, listen. No, hold up. I was telling him to listen. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Odyssey isn't an objective-based platform. It's a 3D open world that's pseudo an objective-based platformer, but it's not. Elaborate. It's not really. Why is that the case? Because there are very definitive missions. They're like in 64, it's very like you know what you're supposed to do. And the challenge is to get there. In Odyssey, it's just like, oh, there's a moon over there. Okay. Mm. There's no challenge. You know exactly where it is. But how do you get so there? Good. That's that's the challenge. The the far output, I think my best example, the video I made about on my YouTube channel about how to get the the moon that's way far out there. Yeah, you know, I figured that out because I thought about it. I stopped and said, "Hmm, how would I get over there?" And, you know, I know I, a bullet bill is the only thing that can destroy that thing, right? But I don't feel like I'm given enough time on this bullet bill. So let me long jump over, take some, take multiple bullet bills, lead the bullet bill because the timer resets once I uh, throw my hat on it, right? How is that? Oh, I see the moon. I know how to get it immediately. That's not that at all. You want to know how I got that moon? Actually, I found the um. The uh the, the yellow guy, the yellow flying guy. Yeah. You know him? I found him in there, in the in the um in the in the sand the world. And I used is. him instead. Like there that's the other thing. Odyssey yeah. purposefully doesn't give you streamlined missions so you can find a way to complete said missions yourself. Yeah. And that's like saying, okay, Ivory, I think the whole the objective based thing that you laud Sunshine uh, that you laud sixty four for is flawed. You know? When you go into something I feel like Mario Odyssey is the natural evolution of it. And when they meant that it was a true sequel, they meant it was a true sequel as in, it's not like Galaxy. It's more open. It's not like 3D World. It's not like 3D Land. It's more like, it's more open like Sunshine in 64. And it is. They didn't lie. Because it is in the same vein as those games. Yeah, but it doesn't perform the same, like... Of it course does. it won't, because it's... It's, it's an evolution it's, of it. It's more broad. Well, it's not a, okay, well, you know what? I don't like the evolution. Oh. Well, then that's that's. Then they didn't lie on that's stage an opinion, like then. you claimed. That's just an you opinion. You just don't like what they said, even though it was the truth. But it's not particularly true because it doesn't feel the same to you. It's not a it, sequel. It, it won't feel. The, when does any sequel ever feel the same? Well, bad sequels that are exactly <laughs> bad. No, no, you're right. Bad sequels feel the same. Oh, okay, to be fair, Galaxy Two is way better than galaxy and feels the same but well, th that's, uh, okay, that's, okay that's different that is different but yeah for all of sunshine's faults i must admit it does feel way different than 64 and i appreciate that okay okay wait if we're going the movie route <laughs> then is star wars episodes one through three good movies then why because they're different they take the series in a new direction yeah, I like it's them. It's supposed to be the same series, but it takes it in a new direction. We're not going the movie route. We're, we're going, going the video movie. game we're route. We're talking about video games. Okay, but you're using a movie analogy. So no, I'm no, not. not. Analogy. There could be a sequel Sunshine. to a video game. Like Sonic 1, 2, and 3 are all completely different games. And they're sequels. They're all really good. Mario 1, 2, and 3 are all different games. Well, especially 2. <laughs> especially 2. And they're sequels. Well, two doesn't count because it's technically a ROM hack of an already pre That game. I'm talking about the Japanese one, fam. Well, actually, that one's very similar. Well, the okay. only thing that's different about it, the fine. Same as Mario One, which I don't, and fine, I don't like fine, that fine, game fine. that much. I don't like that game that much. Lost fair levels. Enough. I think it's really hard and unfair and unforgiving. It has mushrooms that freaking kill you. Yeah, instantly. that's there's there's and there's they don't choreograph it very well. That they, that those mushrooms kill you either. They don't, but that's the point. No, that's bad game design. No, well, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's trial and error. Trial and error isn't bad game design. Trial and error when you have trial a trial and error. Trial is... and error when you have a lives system is bad game design. Wait. No. Are yes. You, yes, it is. Are we having trial and error now? when you're playing a game wait, like Celeste, wait, wait. which has no uh, live system? Oh, my that's God. good game design because there's no punishment for dying wait. other than you get set back wait, a little wait. bit. What? Are you saying that the game not tell like the game not tell you that the mushroom is poisonous is bad game design? What? 
Are you saying that the game telling you that the mushroom isn't poisonous is bad game? Yes, because it's actively detrimental. That's the, that's the key, though. But, it's but That's the key. Let, rock, okay, but you kicking a rock and the game literally telling you that nothing... Because it's a mystery right? game! You're, you don't know exactly where that's, everything is. That's counterintuitive. No, then. it's not. If you're actively what? searching it's the world for things... Four things, it's right? It's teaching you against doing it. It's not. It's not teaching you against it. I mean, the I very first you. level of Super Mario, of Super Mario Bros. Stuff. The very first level. There's a Goomba there. there. No it's yes. teaching you to jump over that, is it not? Yes. And then, but in the same level, in the same first level, in two, it tells you that there's poisonous restrooms that kill you. It doesn't. How does it tell you? Does is there a text box that pops up saying "Watch out"? Why would there was... be a... no? Th no, I mean, there's no there's text box telling you to jump over the you're fucking Goomba. You're not always gonna know because it's obvious happen. to we jump over the Goomba. You gotta figure it out. Like it's not obvious for everyone, Trent. Just because well, just because the game doesn't tell you something. I think I think bad. there's a difference between not telling someone that a mushroom, something that looks like a power up. It has a skull on it. Are you kidding? Not me? in the first game. In, in the. the in the in the Lost Levels remake on in Super Mario All Stars, it does, and that's good, that's fine. Okay. But in the original one, it does not have a skull on it. It's just slightly different colored. That's bad. Okay. That's shitty. I will agree with you there. Okay, yes. That it's not bad. like when you find the moon in the rock, the moon fucking kills you. If that was the case, then I would call that bad game design. Hold up, cut out what you say. I said if when you kicked over the rock, it suddenly blew up and insta killed Mario. That would be bad game design. But no, it does that's not no, it's different. It's not good game design either though. I think it is. I think no, the little secrets not. the game is actively telling you just like there's nothing important in these, you don't have to get them. Is it? Uh, is it though? Wait, I don't think hold, so. Hold, 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 because when you get coins, coins are important, Ivory. Ivory. Here's my thing. Why do the moons have to be important? The main objective, actually. Main objective, of exactly, they but there's so many of them that they aren't. All of them aren't important. Fault. Make it only so there's only 120. No. Or 240. No, because be no. It, because so because it allows more freedom, Ivory. It allows people to actually decide if they want to 100% the game or not. It allows people to decide. That's what's going on. It allows for it allows for better gameplay even then because yeah. like speedrunners fucking eat that shit up. Yeah. Like there's there's different paths you can do. There's different stars you can collect. There's more than one linear way to beat a stage. That's yeah. the point. Never kicks you out either. That's pretty important. Okay, I'll give Odyssey that, I guess. It doesn't kick you out. Yeah. But I'm saying, it's not like there's only one way to complete a stage of Sunshine. And hold up before you say anything. They're missions. There That's is. all I need to say. They're there missions. Is. They're missions. There is. Yeah, there's different ways to go about a mission, though. Yeah, but I Odyssey admit, expands okay, upon them. I admit them. it's not as expensive as Odyssey. But there is a way. You can do it. It's not impossible. <coughs> Blue coins. Oof. We're not talking about sunshine, though. You, we just were, but okay. Um, I wasn't. You just... All right. I said... Uh, did I say sunshine? I meant yeah. to say Odyssey. You uh, did say sunshine. I meant, to say, I meant to say Odyssey. I meant to say Odyssey. Uh, uh shit. What are we going to say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good time. I don't know if we can come up with anything else, but do you think it's a good time for a different topic? Yeah. We're already one hour and 30 minutes in, so... I think everyone's kind of steamed a little bit, so... I am hot and bothered. Steam. Right. Well, Lionel has Go. the Sonic the Hedgehog topics. Oh, boy. Did you want to talk about that still? Yeah. Um. Odyssey's best game, fight me. So, I... Will fight I... You. All right. I should have killed you when I had the chance, Irie. <laughs> you were right there next to me, and I had a gun in my pocket. I could have done it. I am never, ever going to agree with you. Really <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get on a serious... I will go down in history as the man who thinks that something... Hitler. Did nothing wrong. Let's get on. Let's uh, get. Let's get back. Even on. though you agreed that it let's did something change. wrong, let's focus on a serious topic here. So, I've done a bit of rethink. I've done. I've done a bit of research, and I've like I began to realize 
why most Sonic games are as shitty nowadays as they are now. It's mainly because Sega has a team that primarily focuses on Sonic, and that, in and of itself, is causing Sega to lose money. Is anyone disagreeing with you, though? Yeah. I don't think anyone's arguing. This isn't, like, really a debate topic. This is just, like... Fact. Really. I mean, yeah. I'm just. I just want. I just want you guys to know this, and like, if you guys yeah, have any well, opinions I, on, I know it already. Reggie, Reggie has made very sure that I know everything that is Sonic. Okay, I didn't even give a shit about Sonic until I went to college, where I spent every fucking day with his ass. <laughs> I like Reggie. He's a good man, but boy, that man has like two modes. Uh, Sonic. And Steven Universe, it feels. I like both of those. That's fine. But, like, oh, damn. Oh, boy. Um, but beyond that, like... What a sad and strange little man. What are everyone's opinions on Sonic Forces? Oh, well, like, shit. Let's yeah, talk well, about... It's garbage, so... Yeah. I mean... I haven't played it, but... Don't. It doesn't don't cry. You're not missing much? Not You're not missing anything. But... You want to play Sonic Forces? Play Sonic Generations. Pretty much. And then play a ROM hack version of it where you get to make your own little OC. It's not a ROM. Whatever. Make a... Fuck, what's the... A hack? Effect? Hack, yeah. Just hack, I guess. For lack of a bit. There's a specific term for it, but yeah. It's a so hack, don't. Yeah. yeah, don't. It sucks. Uh, I remember at one point you were defending it when it first came out and I played it. I was defending it because, when it first came and, out, yes. Why? I was what do you mean? Why? It's a shitty fucking game. That would be one of the worst Sonic games ever made. Shitty games. So yeah, that's no excuse. But if you know it's shitty, why are you defending it? I, because it's not shitty. It's just mediocre. No, I think it's really bad. That's you, exactly. And I'm right. You're, you're, no. Yes, I am. Ivory is it shitty? Yes, it's pretty okay. bad. I there think I don't think it's shitty. I call I just... it. I called up my boy Reggie, who was also defending it. Right when when it first came out, he was defending it. Right. I see Cloud is also playing with a rock. <laughs> no, hold on, we got distracted. Um, uh, he's he's trying to find the moon. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, it was already the. It was already the. Oh, I didn't notice. Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, but I called up my boy Reggie like recently, and he was like, "Trent, you were right. This is a really shitty Sonic game." So you know what? If I can convince lifetime Sonic fan Reginald Moore that Sonic Forces is a shitty game, and I will stop at nothing to convince you that you it is a shitty game. You want to know why I don't think it's a shitty game and it's just a mediocre game? Why, because you can create your own OC? Sonic Lost World 3DS was the worst fucking Sonic experience I've ever goddamn had. If you play that game, it is worse than Forces. Uh, it is know. worse than Forces. Well, you could argue 06 okay. is worse than Forces. 06 is fun because of the glitch. No. No. Give him that. Well, I've never played it. I'm I I'm... screw on 3DS is fucking it is garbage. It is It's like a mobile game. Huh. It is like that really garbage. Like a mobile, like a mobile right, You know what's a mobile game? Port Sonic 4. That's... Your mobile port. Let's not talk about that. What, what Sonic, Sonic 4, 4 is happen. one of the worst games ever made. What? Sonic 4? I don't even know what that is. What? No, get that out of here. There's only Sonic Mania. I don't know what you're talking Sonic about. Sonic Mania is Sonic 4. Uh, they don't even... I love how when that shows the elevator in the Mania trailer, it doesn't even mention 4. That's how you know it's so bad. Anyway, fellas. Yeah, that's, that's Sonic, I guess. That's all uh, I can think about. Um, is, that a, is that a good place to stop on? It's all the topics we got. Uh, I don't know. Do we have any more time? Uh, e three predictions. Oh yeah. How do we not have that? Uh. That'll probably be the last one though. Yeah, this should be the last. Um. Oof. E three predictions. Uh. I, I think it's probably the right time to show Metroid Prime footage. Footage, yeah. Yeah. They announced it last year and they said it's coming out in 2018. Probably not, but some <laughs> No, I sort think of it is. It's only it. it's almost the year's almost half over. They have plenty of time to finish it. Oh, oh, they okay. I'm I'm for certain that they're gonna give that Yoshi game a release date. Yeah. Because they have like, a, a title. fully playable demo last E3 and they haven't shown anything since. Hmm. 
Yeah. That's what confuses me. Is I thought it was going to be released. Maybe it's just like, because maybe in the spring or something. Nintendo was so shocked from the lack of hype it got. Like what? I forgot it existed. Lack of hype, my ass. No, no one fucking okay, Lionel. Be honest. Compared to every other game that was shown no, off no, E3 I'm not, last no, year, I'm not saying that was probably the least impressive. I'm not saying it you looks, were wrong. I'm, really I'm just saying I don't think Nintendo like cares Wii about Wii World. hype it for like that. Down, they know what they almost. they know what we want. It's because they're okay. You know, if Nintendo didn't, didn't care about hype, hype, they wouldn't have made such a big deal out of Smash. Exactly. Style. It's like a plus. They do care about hype, and it's clear that I'm saying no. They know what we want. No hype. I'm yeah. They know what we want. Well, we still got Yoshi. Shocked about that. That's what I'm trying to get at. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think that uh, the East 3D reception, because you can be surprised, which gets Yoshi's a lot of reception. Yoshi's Island 3D was shit, and that was the last Yoshi thing wow. related thing we got. Well, that other than Woolly World. Other than Woolly World, who was just like an offshoot of this new Yoshi. Well, it's pretty similar from what I've seen and what I've played. It was, but it was basically like a spin-off. It. You eat enemies, you poop them out, you get kind of eggs and mostly yarn balls. But, you know, Whatever. At least it's not like Epic Yarn where they can't even inhale anyone. Which is really strange. Like Epic Yarn and Woolly World are both the same idea. They're both a character that okay, inhales wait, enemies. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Kiwi, there's actually an explanation why. I know, there's an explanation why, but why isn't the same explanation in Woolly World? <laughs> because it's a completely different character. Yarn Yoshi and Yoshi are two completely different people. But, but like, Yarn Kirby... Plays yarn, completely different. Yarn Kirby is Kirby. Well, that's because Yarn Kirby wasn't even supposed to be Yarn Kirby. It was supposed to be the king. That too. I know. I yeah, just, I just think like it's it interesting. Be, it was supposed to be his game. If but Woolly then, World is supposed to be like, similar to Epic Yarn. It's not. Well, it's, it's, not. it's not. It's not. It's just it's an art absolutely style. Absolutely not. It just has the same aesthetic, I guess. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's just the same art style. They're not like in the same universe. Oh, I know. That'd be weird. Well, would be let's weird. not discuss. Nintendo crossovers, because technically Mario technically. and Kirby, Kirby have been in a lot of, like, like not even counting Smash Brothers. They have seen each other quite a bit, but like, don't, like Samus is has literally been in a Kirby game. Like, and even, also Mario RPG. Exactly. So I don't even, yeah, that alone, like, Samus just connects the two right there. That's it. But, beyond that. Whatever. Oh, so, um... Do you think there's a chance for Animal Crossing? Revealed? No. Not this year. Now, Not this I think year. now would be the good time to do it, but I don't think they will. I think they should show the title like they did with Prime, and that's it. I don't think they should do that considering Smash. Not yet. Well, I think... Okay, so here's what I think. I think this isn't going like, to be a traditional... Smash, Pokemon, Prime, and then... Look, yeah, so guys, like, oh, that, ooh, thank Fireball. you for reminding me, Clyde. We're literally, like, Pokemon thing getting announced at the end of this month. Like, legit. May thirty first, so there's huge Pokemon announcements gonna be announced. Gonna be oh, yeah. like. Well, I think okay, so I think this E three is gonna be different than the pa past E three. I don't think it's gonna do the whole Nintendo Direct format. It's gonna do the uh, twenty sixteen format, where it just shows off games. It's I'd gonna be, be controversial, that. but I think that's what they're gonna do. I doubt I'd it. I'd be fine with that. Just like giving yeah, us what we want. They, that's, that's what they've. That's, that's the impression favorite. they've been given off so, that they're yeah. gonna just show off Smash and Splatoon, and then they're gonna be done. I think that's what they're going to do. Smash and Split. They don't need to show off Split. Well, they, they said they're going to do it. They're going to show off the Octo update oh, yeah. and everything else. But, like, they've been doing that on their Twitter. Well, like, constantly. That's what they said. That's literally what S Nintendo said was going to happen at E3. Smash presentation, Splatoon 2 presentation. Theory? Splatoon DLCs come well, out at the end of uh, their fair, presentation. Uh, 2016s, they announced, like, 3DS stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well... So I, and then they did it during oh, yeah, uh, the Treehouse. They're probably going like to announce... Like that Mario Party one? Yeah, maybe. So. Um, I think they'll announce some other stuff, but... Yeah, well, Treehouse got new games anyway. Like, Treehouse released... Revealed that uh, the remake for Metroid 2 was coming on 3DS last year. So, yeah. The yeah I, I'm not saying... I'm not ruling out action. that there could be one. I'm just saying what most likely is going to happen is that... Is my prediction... Is that we're just gonna show off Smash, show off, um, Pokemon, show off? No, not Pokemon. Splatoon two, and then we may get some small things in the Treehouse. They might even switch Treehouse to Switch, like small Switch games, you know. But that's basically it. I can't wait for it to come true. Uh, you are very, you are very. Confident. So, what do you? Okay, do <laughs> you think really. they're gonna save Smash for last or just? 
They won't save right. it. They're last. saving their. They'll, pro- they'll probably either be in the middle or like the very. First no, no, thing. they're they're doing it after Splatoon because they know that if they that's what they said they're gonna do Splatoon first and Smash because they know that if they do Smash first, no one's gonna care no, about. Are you talking about a leak? I'm talking about like no, no. This is what they actually said. Where confirmed? Where did they uh, say this? Shit, I clouded posted it. I think it was a Twitter thing. I said, um, posted on Twitter, I believe. Where okay. they said what they were gonna do. Is that a legitimate? Was that like yes? Nintendo it's like an actual Nintendo said it. Okay. So then that's probably what's gonna happen. I'm telling you. All right. All right, Lionel, we're done. This that's this that's been the talk blockers. Now we all hate each other. Thank you. No, it's stock talkers. It's that stock you're talkers. right. God, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> right. Stop. stop. I can't even agree on the fucking Wait, we gotta sign out. We can't just end it here. You We're ending it right now. You. No, piece. we gotta.